hello and welcome back to the new video of the tower tutorial series so so till now we have covered two questions which are frequently asked in the interview processes and now today we will be covering another question which is to find the minimum or the maximum value inside an array so what they have done over here is you will be given given an array and we just find we just have to find minimum or the maximum value from the array array will consist of the uh, integer numbers and you have to find the minimum number from that array okay so let me just write question over here find maximum from an array and uh, let me give you an example 5 comma 6 comma 9 comma 10 comma 25 so let's suppose this is an uh, example so after giving this array to our function that we are we are going to write the expected answer should be 5 because among those five integers 5 is the minimum number or else if you finding the maximum numbers the result should be 25 you can do anything so you can find minimum as well as the maximum okay so in this question we will be finding the minimum you can try for the maximum one if you get some error you can do comment out i will be giving you the reply okay so i guess we have to find the minimum value for that we have to return that minimum value inside in the integer format okay so the return value of the return type of the our method should be integer okay and our method should be static because we are calling it from the main method of type int uh, i will name it name this method as find minimum okay so for, to this we will be writing array because we need to pass that array to that function okay uh, so inside here i will be uh, need one min integer variable which will store the value of the minimum value uh, minimum number from that array so initially i will be doing uh, array at zero as the minimum number initially i just assigning the zeroth index integer value to the minimum variable over here okay and now we need one for loop which will iterate to the entire array that we have passed i is less than array dot length and each time we'll be doing i plus plus okay so we need one if condition over here array at i if less than min okay uh, so if if that's the case we just need to update the value of the i min mini variable okay so what we are doing uh, doing over is array at i so let me give you an example if 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 it is the case that uh, array is iterating for the first time so let's suppose this is the it's array and array at i at index that is zeroth index is five so this is the element we are assigned it to the means value yes. so let's suppose means the val mean value is 5 and if condition we are checking array at i that is 5 is less than 5 so this will be ev evaluated as false so loop breaks and we will come out of the loop and uh, uh, for the second time i's value is 1 so array at i means array at 1 array at 1 is 6 is 6 less then 5 no this is not this is not the case we will again if condition is evaluated as false again uh, we increment the value of i and again we will check uh, whether array at 2 array 2 means 9 9 is less than min min is value is 5 again uh, it will evaluate as false so in in our case it, it it will never evaluate as true until and unless there is a number 
cited array which is less than 5. If that number is less than 5, it will just simply update the value of the mean to the minimum value, means that, that iteration value. Okay. Uh, and after this successful running of the for loop, we will just simply return the mean value. You can also find the maximum value uh, in the same manner. You just try once finding. Uh, I will just write int array. And again, you can provide your own uh, input also. Nope, no issues. 5, 6, 9, 10, 25, 4. Okay. And I will just call find minimum. Uh, I will write our array here and I will just do this entire thing inside this print statement so that the value that the function is returning that is a minimum number should get printed on the console over itself. Okay, so if I run this. Uh, 4 should get printed. Yeah, 4 is getting printed on the console. Let me just uh, modify one condition. Now 5 should get printed. Yeah, so let me just try with the negative number. Uh, let's suppose negative 9. So what do you think? What will be printed? Yeah, you guess right. Nine, minus 9 is getting printed on the console. So, this is pretty much about finding the minimum number inside an array. You can do the some modification inside this code to get the maximum number. Try building your log uh, logic because uh, by watching these kind of videos, uh, just watching the problem solving videos uh, will not help you improving your problem solving skills. You have to practice a lot. Uh, try solving the uh, geek for geeks portals uh, problems or hacker rank hacker earth there are so many portals are there try solving those questions and so that you can build, build your problem solving logic okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one